All right, welcome back. Um, today in this video, we are going to be looking at construction engineering. So we are literally at the last topic as you're studying for your civil FE exam. And so in this section, we're going to start with project administration. And as we go through the different uh, many topics, I guess you can call them. Um, we're going to end with interpretation of engineering uh, drawings. So let's go ahead and look at and dive into our practice problems. Um, so number one says, what is the primary purpose of a request for information in construction project management? All right, so we can start out with um, what are we given? Uh, I would say that's not applicable to this. No, there's no variables in this. What are we trying to find? Uh, the purpose we're looking for, um, the purpose of an RFI stands for request for information. All right, any formulas needed? No. All right, so going through the answer choices, initiating a change order. Um, and I also, also wanna point out that uh, we don't need any formulas, uh, but you do need some prior knowledge. And so that's why I'm going through this so that if they ask you a question on it, then you'll know what to do. Okay, so. Uh, initiating change orders I would I would say no um, when you're initiating a change order you're doing exactly what you're saying so you're changing something about um, an order that you've made so for example you may be ordering a set of pipes and you just adding on to that. So instead of ordering a thousand, you may say I need actually a thousand five hundred, right? So change order is not going to be the case. Seeking clarification and additional information. No, that sounds good. Um, I'm requesting information, seeking more information about um, an item or material for the project. Um, C is establishing project milestones. So when you're requesting for information, you're not establishing a milestone. So no. Are you allocating project resources? No again. So I want to give you an example of what maybe, I'm sorry, answer is going to be B. But I want to uh, give you an example of like, what a request for information would look like. So I used to do these when I worked for this um, construction company and I would literally be having to um, get these or request information for a specific type of pipe that the state required whenever you're renovating, um, in an area or changing up the landscape, right? They were basically removing old pipes. And so we were going in and putting in new pipes. So there was a company, right? So let's, uh, let's do blue for this. So basically there was a company that we ordered from. So they had, I'll just draw a circle of a pipe. And, and then it was us, all right? And um, we would, we would ask uh, for a specific type of pipe. and we would kind of shoot that over to them. 
And then what they would come around and do is they would send us, you know, a pipe. So they would send an email with pipe information. And from there, then we would come around and say, wait a minute, the information that you sent us didn't include uh, the pipe material. So then we'll send them another email and we'll do a request for information um, saying that, you know, hey, does it have a specific material? And it's kind of this going back and forth between the company who's selling, you know, the products. Um, so you couldn't see what I was writing, but it's kind of like um, we're going back and forth between uh, companies and information. And basically we just, want to make sure we know we have all the information so we can share that with the state. So that's a little extra background that you probably didn't need, but I wanted to put it in, I guess, real life um, perspective. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say, if you're looking to pass your civil FD exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.